All right. Thank you again for joining us on Ready, Aim, Stamp. Um, again, today we have my special guest and my sweet friend, Nancy, and she is going to show us another spectacular fun fold. Take it away, Nancy. <laughs> hey, hi, everybody. I'm glad you're here watching us. Okay, so we're going to do this card that's called the um, Angle Trifold Card, and it's really fun, but like Amy says... You need to measure twice, cut once. Sometimes yes. you have to measure more than twice. Sometimes you do, and this might be one of those cards. So it has this little belly band, which is kind of a different way of doing things, and then it has this nice angle both directions, which I think is what makes it so fun makes it a, a definitely a different kind of design from just a base card yes it does and so the base is a little different than the base card so we'll set this up here and i will show you this is our base and the base is five and a half by 11. so that's a little different than our normal base card you're going to take your card and get your scoring tool and you're going to score it at three and three eighths on each end. So here's three and then the eighths are the short line, tall line, short line in case you are into what lines. So it's on that little short line there, three and three eighths. Use your score, not your cutter. All right, and then turn it around and do the very same thing. Right there. All right. So, that's the first part, getting those score lines. Now, you don't really need to score it right now in terms of uh, that, but you do want to be sure you can see where you scored it because you're going to use that to cut your angle. First, you have to measure your angle, though, or you wouldn't know where to cut. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go from, the. I'm going to call this the channel because that's where the score line is, okay? So from that channel, you're going to mark one and a half down. Well, I said that wrong. First, you're going to mark one and a half down. First, you're going to figure out your ruler. Okay, one and a half. It's going to be right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and measure this one at the same time. So you're doing the same um, measurements and angles on both sides. Correct. So one and a half down. All right. So what we're going to do now, is bring this back in. So that little channel I talked about, you put that right in this channel where you're going to cut. And then you turn your card to your point. Keeping an eye on that little channel. See why you need to have it folded, especially in the light. It's hard to see that little it line, is. score line. Score line. So, okay. So you can see my little dot is in this channel. And maybe you can see that the score line is in that channel, although you probably can't on camera. All right. And you're just going to go like that. All right, and then you're going to go do it on the other side. Maybe I'll try to focus in. Okay. See, there's the, the score channel is in the channel, and the point is almost in the channel. There. I'll just be really honest with you and tell you that this card... Um, is tricky in terms of getting everything to fit right, but it will be beautiful no matter what happens. Okay? How's that? All right, so Amy, now we're going to cut this bottom angle, this one right here. <clears throat> and for it, we're just going to go in one inch. So you go from the end of your card, one inch. And we're gonna do so it's it. very important that you do that top um, angle first since you kind of use the bottom angle to, or you, the top angle to. You absolutely have to do it first because you have no point of reference. Gotcha. Right. 
Okay, so we're going to bring the cutter back in here in the center so you can see. And I'm going to take that point, or yeah, the pencil mark that I made, and this point, and line that up just the best that you can. One thing to remember, too, is don't start up here in the point because you'll chew up your card. Always start where you have more card to cut, okay? And just go like that. And I missed it just a little bit, but it'll be okay, I promise you. All right, so then we're going to do this one. It'd be good if you could miss it the same on both. That would be really excellent, but that won't happen. <laughs> so we'll just try to do this one right. All right, and then cut that. All right. So now we have a very funny shaped piece. Of we do. Isn't that a fun card right there? <laughs> All right. So we're going to move that out of the way for a minute. And I am going to actually score these now. I must not have pressed on those as well as I usually do. But that's okay because we're just going to burnish that edge. And we're going to burnish that edge. And now, do you have an eraser? Like a white eraser that... I left my little mark there, which we can always take off. But I thought if Amy had one right here handy, she does. I knew she would. <laughs> can't live without the white eraser. No, you can't really. They are the best. And they won't show a lot, but they would show a little bit. Because you're going to take this okay so this piece of any dsp that you want to use is going to be cut at five and a fourth by three and a fourth and you know what amy i am going to have to show that picture i wasn't going to show you the picture because i gave the card away and i only have the picture but if you want to have DSP on both sides of your card instead of like this one where I did an embossing and a DSP. If you want to do both sides, then you need two pieces at five and a quarter by three and a quarter. And you can cut them at the same time, but just be sure that you cut them. Let's see, I'll just use this. Be sure that when you cut them, you have either your right sides together or your wrong sides together don't like layer them your fabric yeah don't layer them like this or they won't be correct okay, okay. so we're going to bring well yeah we're going to bring this back in and we're going to bring this back in and we're going to cut the top one again first and on this it would be pretty tricky to um it's going to be hard for me to mark that so what i'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to see which angle I need, which is this way, and I'm going to turn it over and not forget that that's what I did. And I'm going to cut this at one and a half. So I'm going to mark it at one and a half right there. I'm going to rethink that. <laughs> Make sure. Yes, it is correct. Measure okay. Twice. Yes. <laughs> So then I'm going to open this up. I'm going to sit that mark. Am I in the... Yes, you're okay. in the shot. All right. So I'm going to put that mark in there. And I'm going to put that point in there. As best I can. Okay. I'll tell you another thing. I often end up putting whatever piece of paper right here where this lifter thing is. Not a good idea. Try to work above or below it because your fingers are always in the way. Have you noticed that, Amy? <laughs> or is it just me? Okay. I haven't tried this card, so I don't know. <laughs> All right. So see, it worked. It's the right angle. All right. Happy day. So then what we're going to do is we're going to think about that again, and it would be right here. Now we're going to do that inch mark again. So I'm going to mark an inch. Okay, so I've got my inch mark. Now here's a little, I hope I don't do this wrong because we are on camera, but what we're going to do is we're going to put that little mark on 
right in the channel like we would normally but the top one we're going to <laughs> I'm probably going to do it backwards we're <laughs> <laughs> all right so I think what we're going to do <laughs> Don't quote me on this. All right, we're going to put the mark in the channel, and we're going to put this over the channel just a little bit. From your notes, that looks correct from what I can read. <laughs> I said this point in the channel of the cutter, and this point in... Okay, so we're going to try that. If it's wrong, it's wrong. All right, so see how it's just over it, just a little fraction cut that because we're layering it and it Cur needs, that little, it needs that little extra did i get it well not quite it might have needed a little more but it's kind of too late to do it so could you trim off that straight I, edge that's exactly what i will do i'll just trim a little bit and it still will make this angle just not quite perfect, but it'll look like it's more perfect. Okay, so that's that's how you fix your mistakes. <laughs> put that, and I'm only going to put it, I probably should be up here. I'll move the whole thing. I'm, I'm in there. Okay, I'm only going to put it like right on that, that brown, the outside of the channel. Yeah, that Does that make edge. sense? Yeah. Use that as your... Uh, that's my measure. guide right there. <laughs> Okay, and there we go. Hopefully, we got that. Yeah, it's right here. This little okay, thing. I was like, did it come <laughs> off? It's a little sliver. It is a sliver. Okay, let's see how we did. That's better. I like that better. Yeah. Okay, so... But that is definitely the trickiest part of this card is getting those to match this. Because even when you cut it, it's like your eyeball doesn't see the same thing every time. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to emboss this. And I'm using a, a embossing folder that is not current. But I love it. And I'm going to use it. I actually have used both of these. They're both not current. But if you have them, they work well. One is the petal burst, and one is the layering leaves. And how you do that is just put it in there so that it is, the leaf, the stem, is on your fold. So you, you don't really fold that under or anything. You hold it there. Maybe, you, maybe you could go this way. Could you go this way? Yeah, you can. No, it still kind of bites off the top. So anyway, you just... You get it right as long you know as close to that edge as you can and you can see it in there where it is kind of anyway that's what you do and I'm gonna take this off camera to do Let this I'll be back okay so we're back and you can see that I embossed those leaves on there I and love that three-dimensional on those. I do too. It really pops it up. So when I did this card, I finished it. And then I thought, you know, these needed something. And Amy said, well, Miss Winkastella Queen, <laughs> hello. <right. laughs> so I'm going to do it now because there's, I don't need to wait till I'm all done and don't know what it needs. So what I did was I just went in there and quickly not with any precision but i just quickly which is good because it's i keep getting in my shadow here um do like this and get some wink of stella on there just to give it a little more excitement see i had to laugh because when she asked me that because whenever i ask her what does this card need that's almost always the answer <laughs> did you try wink of stella <laughs> Why can you do that for your friends, but not for yourself? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yes. You probably don't really need to see me do this on camera, but it's only going to take me a minute. And we're practically done. You're getting running out of that wink. I got another one. I had one that was running out, too. It made me so try it. it. 
<laughs> yeah, it, it does make you sad because Wink Estella is like such a good friend. It is. It adds that little touch of sparkle and mm -hmm. cheer. <laughs> <clears throat> so, okay, I think I'll quit and I will go back and fill those in. Can I quit or do I have yeah, to finish? <laughs> I meant me she personally. Loves the color. Yeah, I don't. All right, so um, we're gonna put this on now. And again, if you're not, if you're more of a perfectionist than I am, and you want to try to trim that up more, you can try. But I'll tell you, sometimes the more you trim on it, the bigger mess you make. Yeah, and you get really upset with yourself. So just, we don't want that. We want this to be enjoyable. That's right. <laughs> So just go ahead and stick her down. That's not what people are going to look at anyways. They're going to say, wow, somebody made me a homemade card. That's right. They're not going to get out their little ruler and measure and make sure that each edge is exactly. If they do, then they have issues. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. All right. Okay. So there's the base of the card, basically. That's. That's the card. The not too bad, except for all that measuring. Man. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of measuring. All right, I'm going to move that out of the way, and we're going to work on the belly band now, which is much simpler. And while I do that, Amy, would you look and see if I have the inside for yes. that card? Okay, so the belly band, we're going to take this. And we're going to make it one inch. Just like that. I don't see it. Unless it's in this other. And then we're going to make it one inch by 10. So I know that this is eight and a half by 11. So what I'm going to do is just cut an inch off. So now it's one by 10. And then I'm going to score it at two and a fourth, which is right there. And you could score the other side if you want to, but I like to wait. And make sure, because, you know, the card's kind of fat and stuff. And so I like to just make sure it's really going to score where I want it to be scored. Okay, then I'm going to take, I've already got some scrap um, of this beautiful rose-colored shiny paper that um, Stampin' Up! recently got. And I'm going to take... What am I going to take? I'm going to take my big daisy punch and I'm going to fit that in there just like that. And I'm going to have one in the shiny and one in the flowers. Wow, I couldn't have planned that. Look at I got that flower right in the center. Uh -huh. That's so funny. Too but bad you didn't cover it up. I know. <laughs> exactly. Okay. And then I'm going to take my little daisy and I'm going to do in this. I already had these cut so they fit nice in there, which you do not have to do. Just but kind of helps you conserve that foil paper. It, it absolutely does. Okay. And... Oh, that's not what I wanted anyways. Well, you're not watching me very carefully, Amy. I was watching you. I just wasn't watching the template. <laughs> okay. It wouldn't have mattered. You could do either. But here we go. Just like that. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do is get this the glue setting on this, basically. So we're going to... You could use, um, what are those little spots called? Glue dots. Glue dots. You could use those. That might be actually nicer just because... It's going to adhere quickly. Quickly. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't have to dry. Yeah. 
But but you have wiggle room. Like we always say. <laughs> like we always say. We like our wiggle room. I do. I need it. Okay, so there's that one. And then a little glue. I got a little too much on that other one too. So don't use a lot of glue. Especially on the shiny stuff. It tends to... It doesn't come uh, blend in quite as well on the shiny when it dries. Yeah. And one thing too, I was just noticed that... It's better if you put that second flower on the shiny instead of trying to put it in between. Like you would put this one in between the petals. But this one you really want on top of that last petal because it just disappears. Yeah. Okay. So there it is. All right. Now, while that's kind of setting, I'll scoot it over here. We're going to do the rest of the belly band. So I'm going to just stamp my sentiment, which is right here. And I'm going to use the polished pink. You could use something bright or you could use something dull, you know, depending on how much you want it to show up. But I decided I wanted it to show up. So I need the... Oh, the foam. Yeah, that I put away. Okay. All right. She's a much cleaner workspace person than I am. Not really. Just in <laughs> front of the camera. Okay, so I do want to be a little bit aware where I'm stamping this. So I'm going to put it kind of towards the end of this. And then I'm going to throw it in my stamp pad. Look at how lovely a job <laughs> I did of that. But I bet you're going to cut that part off. So I bet Well, I am, but I think I'm going to do it again because this could actually be possibly in your way. show. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it. This is what we do with our mistakes. We either flip it over or we cover them up with bling. <laughs> That's right. And I would have just covered it with bling, but the bling is going to be right there on the daisy, and I don't think it would look right. No. So, all right, that's better. Just like that. And we'll move that. And then I'm going to bring this back in. I'm going to cut this to um, half an inch. So, I'll go up here. Half an inch would be right there, which didn't work. So, I'm going to trim it first. Yeah. And hope that I get a half an inch. I might have to make it a little bigger. That would be okay, though. It would be. There's no... This part has no, like, real dimension to it. It's whatever your it's sentiment smaller is. smaller than the one inch. Yes, correct. Because I already cut my one inch. However, if I hadn't cut my belly band, that wouldn't even matter. <laughs> All right. There it is. So... Fits perfectly. All right. <laughs> now, I'm going to take my card, and I'm just going to... Sometimes... Okay, I'll show you what I do, because I'm kind of weird. So sometimes what I do is, like I told you that this is at two and a quarter. So I will cut it. Let me zoom it out a little bit. I'll, I won't cut it. I will mark it at two and a quarter. And then I will see if that's really what I want. So I'm going to put this here and see it's not. Now, why did it do that? I don't know. Probably because it really wasn't supposed to be two and a quarter. I just made that up. <laughs> hmm. Well, no problem. That's what I'm going to do. So, and again, I put it a little bit ahead of it because I want it to have room to fold in the card and look good. So, there we go. Let's see, what is that just for fun? Three and a half? Three and a half. How about that? <laughs> All right, so we're going to fold that. And when you fold it, use your nail or something so you get a nice, so it's really straight, if you care. <laughs> All right, there we go. Now, we're going to see where this goes. I'm just going to leave that on there because the flower is going to cover it up anyways. So, no reason to bother with trying to get it. So, what I'm going to do is 
put that on. And I'm going to run it all the way to the end because that's the look I'm going for. But you could center it. You could do whatever. I'm going to line that up. And I'm going to do that. Alright. Now it's ready. So, let's see. Before we do that, though, we're going to cut our inside. Our inside, of course, is... Four. by five and a quarter and it is just that there's no special angles on there Yay. Oh. <laughs> yes indeed but I am going to put a little stamp in there and so I'm using a little this little flowery thing and again, I'm going to use the polished pink, but I'm going to stamp off. Yeah. That is incorrect. I'm using <laughs> I'm using the blushing be, be, uh, bride. I can't talk, but, <laughs> but that's what it is. And I'm not going to stamp off, I'm pretty sure. Let's check it. That is correct. <laughs> so, I'm going to just and it's just, you know, do whatever you want inside. I just kind of went like a flower and then another flower and then another flower. Just, you know, whatever seems fun to you. Just to give it a little something inside. Another thing you could do, you could take some of your um, DSM. DSP. DSP. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And you could make a little strip in there, just, oh, you know, yeah. you could, something like that. But whatever you want to do to the inside of your card is fine. There are no rules. I love how you get to see both yes. sides of that embossing. Isn't that fun? And if you were really into a challenge, you could put DSP inside. But <laughs> that's for another day when I've had more coffee and Diet Pepsi. There you go. <laughs> Except for, for me, it'd be coffee and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i'm gonna lay that in there just like that very cool you could also stamp on the inside you could flap if you wanted on here yeah yeah you could you could do like um if you stamped off and or did color on tone on tone uh-huh that would be Use really pretty mark or yep. the same yeah. yeah and again this could be either way you could go like this or you could go like this I kind of liked it this way, so that's what we're going to do on camera. And I'm going to make sure that this is right. And because you want you take it on and off, you don't want it too tight. So that is pretty perfect, is in my opinion. Yeah, it looks like it should slide very nicely. And I'm going to put the short side up. Okay, so you just kind of eyeball where that is, and you put your glue you don't want it to go past that correct and you might not want to do it while it's on your card but <laughs> hey we're on camera so Nancy you know likes to live dangerous that's right <laughs> all right pretty cool huh Very okay cool. and then we're gonna push him down I didn't sometimes you force it to stay where that's you want right. it all right then we're gonna get a dimensional and put on here which is nicely dried i and i will repeat that it these slick papers sometimes you want them to you want to give them a little extra time now the good thing about this is see you can put this did i yeah i did you can you can help it hold that down by putting that where it touches just like that that's working. Okay, and then just for a little added bling, because Yay, we like bling. Yes, we'll just put this right in the center. Whatever little pretty rhinestone y thing that you happen to have. See, I have two different ones. 
And if you didn't want too much dimension, but you wanted something in the center, you could do like a little cute heart cut out or mm -hmm. die punch. That would yeah. be cute. Yes, because if you do put, you know, something that bumps up like this, it does cost more to for postage. And But if you put, uh, and sometimes it, it punches through the envelope, but if you put those cover sheets in there, that Yeah, helps. so you can just take a little extra piece of... Um, cardstock and run it through your embossing folder and you stick it between the bling and your envelope and it kind of helps protect it as it goes through the postage. So there's our cards.